well then, Tuesday night, under lights. We are back in league action, Bedford Town then. Off the back of a Bed Senior Cup victory, albeit on penalties, but a victory nonetheless. Uh, let's keep that winning mentality going back into the league, shall we? Kings Langley are in town this evening. Uh, the second time these two have met this season. The first time, well, that ended in a 3-1 win to Kings Langley. Let's see if Bedford can uh, reverse that fixture tonight. Game is underway. Come on. Here's... Uh, Bedford coming forward then, they launch the ball forward into the final third. Bedford are through here! First chance of the game. Keeper holds it in the end, but uh, that's the first chance. I mean, this, this, this is not right. Like, like, what ball forward, this keeper comes out then. Uh, of course, not Alex Street, but uh, a new man behind the sticks for a month or two at least. Holds that one. Yeah. Tomlinson down the far side then, he does come away with the ball and he's got a bit of room, jinx back inside and we go back down line then, cross comes in now, it's into the danger area, it's Bowworth, has a go, linesman has got his flag up on this near side, still nil nil, is that Bedford come forward then, shot on goal, how's that got in, it doesn't matter it has, it's Joe Bowers, number 11 this evening, with a, uh, a fine finish from outside the box, laid back to him and to be quite honest with you, I wasn't expecting it. Teed it up, had a go, and that is the deadlock broken. 1 0 to Bedford Town. Okay, he's played back down the other end now, then. Certainly not a boring opening uh, 20 minutes or so. In the middle now. Oh, he is on side. Flag stays down. Tomlinson then. Oh, nice little turn. Has a go! Tomlinson doubles the lead for Bedford and what a finish that was pretty much on his own Tomlinson finish at the near post and that is now Bedford Town 2 Kings Langley nil oh, yeah. straight back down the other end then Kings Langley looking for an immediate reply Jinx past the defender Goes to the ground. The referee is having none of it. VAR not required there. The referee penalising the Langley man for uh, simulation there. Are we shouting at his own team? Well, there we go. And, uh, you don't see it very often at this level, it has to be said. But the referee brandishing the yellow card. And that's two or three now for the away team. Well, there we go, the oh. tackle comes in and there is a slip at the back here. Poor Bedford, it's, uh, it's Kai feeling it comes back. Saves Bedford's blushes there. Oh, did he win the ball now? Referee doesn't think so. Okay, well subsequent booking then from the, well from the subsequent foul. It goes to Sam Dreyer. A few yellows been been... Uh, thrown about in the opening half an hour of this one. It is a high line then, everybody outside the box at the moment. Played in now, Warburton was stuffed to do here, referee's whistle blows. And that is uh, offside signalled from the man on the far side with the flag. Who was it? Oh, Didier Kamara has absolutely robbed his man there. It's two on one. Affy! Oh, it's a great save. Perhaps should have finished it. Corner nonetheless. There we go, corner comes in then some 35 minutes or so into this and uh, Bedford Town are, um, they are well due this lead. Another corner on the far side now. And, uh, it's been bright, very bright. In swinging once again. The Langley man picks it up. Swing away, Mr. Kamara. Picks it up then. Plays it down here to Keeble, who's got plenty of room. Plenty of time to get across in. Six yard box. Oh. Does enough. Langley come away with the ball. Ball plays in, stays in. Kamara then he's doing. Oh, that's a free kick. Well, another yellow card here. These Langley players giving their manager a bit of a headache in this first half because there's a few skating on thin ice at the moment. It's all blown. Free kick. Auburn Jones plays it down the line. And that's going to run out of play. Still 2-0 to Bedford Town. 
Well, there you are, that's three long peeps on the whistle. In fact, it's about seven, but who's counting? Uh, two goals to Bedford, nonetheless, and this half, it's been, um, I don't want to say, but not really used to what we're seeing. To be honest, it's been comfortable. Decisions have been going our way. We've made chances. We've put chances away. And I'm not being biased. There's been only one team in it this first half. Uh, long may it continue into the second. We do have a second half to play. Half time. Bedford Town 2. Kings Langley 0. Second half then is upon us. Um, Half-time team talk, that would have been an interesting one. I should imagine it would have been along the lines of keep doing what you're doing Bedford. Langley's team talk would have been uh, quite the contrary I should imagine but uh, nevertheless here we are pitch side once again and uh, Connor wins the ball on the far side. Second half then underway Bedford two goals up. Let's have it come on corner. Go. Corner comes in then Butterworth into the, uh, into the area. Didier is jumping. Oh, it's, 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 it's a shot. Well, there we go. That's that's how you say it. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. I hope you pick that up. Um, Substitution looks like Hugh's not going to be able to carry on with that uh, injury, perhaps stained, sustained in the first half. But here's the work experience, kid. Oh, oh what a dinky ball oh, that is! Just finish it for the start of the season. Shoot! Edwards! Three! Oh, Edwards! Oh, still a chance! Donner's finesse! Oh! Is he onside? Oh, is he onside? Flag has stayed down. It's Affy then to make it three! Keeper does well, rushes out, holds it well, remains 2 0. No, he's not giving it. The play goes on. That's a great. Oh. He took off the team there. Was he already put? No. That's Dre again involved heavily there. He is on a yellow. Right, we well, there we go. Do beg my pardon. It was um, perhaps Dre was involved in a little bit of the afters there. Feeling with the original tackle, who will receive a yellow card. Both centre backs now on yellows. Didier, he's back from the dead. Oh, Didier. What did you do to that shoulder? Were they, uh... <laughs> right, you plastic. Oh, Cassie's yeah. done bits on that shoulder. <laughs> oh, did. oh, Didier goes down again. He's in the walls here. Referee's going to give that. Let's upset the home contingent. Well, Bedford's two centre-backs are in the box for this one. It's Butterworth who takes it, loops it in. The keeper comes high, claims it, claims it well. Here is Warburton. Down this near side, still Warburton. Plenty in the engine, wins the throw. Throwing taken into Kamara, back to Warburton. There's uh, Edward. <laughs> I'm calling him Edward. I can't remember his surname, but he does enough, wins the corner. Well done, Edward. <laughs> it's the corner then from this near side. Butterworth plays it in. It's uh, fallen to Kamara. Didier Kamara has a pop, holds his shoulder, and the score remains 2 0. Throw in taken into Tomlinson, cleared by their left back. Into the chest, shouts for handball, free kick given. Taken quickly, then he's searching out the man on the far side. There is just one. There's also a Sam Warburton who uh, gets his head on the wall. Yes. Well done, Edward. Edward. Yeah. Well, yes. here's Diddy, though. He's having a good game, Mr. Kamara. Focusing in possession, Donnelly then, looking to thread the ball through, that will do. Cross comes in, low, Affy! Not the most convincing fashion here, but there's um, a lot of blue shirts here. It is three on two up front here. Kamara has a go! Keeper holds, round here, chance in the middle, what's occurring? Oh, goodness me, I thought it went in. But um, I think it does have to be said, that's... Probably the first chance Langley have had, isn't it? Yeah. So two now. Tomlinson then from inside the Bedford half. Picks it up, yes. jinks it inside. That's it. Here's, uh, here's the new lad. Oh, Affy! Takes a deflection. Well, there we go. Affy making way on the far side and he's getting applause all around the ground. He's had a good game. He's 
He's, uh, he's absolutely run his socks off this evening. Four, do you Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I mean, what points up for us? <laughs> cool, corner has been taken. It's um, being kept in the corners with about five minutes or so left of this game. Why not? Throw in now on the far side. Well, there we go, third and final change, and it's the uh, well the scorer of the opening goal, Joe Butterworth, who's sort of hobbled off the pitch. His replacement, George Thorne. He must have been lurking there all game, because I didn't see him. Cross comes in from Langley, perhaps a consolation goal. No time, that's it. 90 minutes played here at the Erie, and um, it's been probably the most comfortable display we've seen all season. Bedford Town got the business done early on, doubled the lead a little bit later. Could have been four or five, to be quite honest with you, in this game. Uh, Langley have not turned up for this one. Bedford have been impressive. Final score then, at the Erie. Bedford Town two, Kings Langley, nil. Well, how about that? What's wrong with it? It was a bit exciting. It's what winning feels like. I've almost forgotten, but um, that was easy. It was good. I kind of feel like a, it was a bit of a weird dream. You come here and you expect to be up against it, and um, what we're kind of used to seeing, but uh, that was flawless. I don't know whether Kings Langley didn't turn up, or Bedford did, and a mixture of both, I don't know. We'll take it either way. Three points and we go again on Saturday. Bromsgrove Sporting, that will not be as easy as this. Um, we're at home for that. We are at home. We are at home here on this hallowed turf. <laughs> Come on down. Um, England are playing as well. Um, and that old World Cup majiggy in Qatar. Um, I'll be here on that. We're here all weekend, don't we? Come on, three points for the Eagles up the Southern League we go. <laughs>